Hi, Himanshu here with Himanshu.com and in this video, I'm going to show you my content generation and syndication system. So as an entrepreneur, I don't have a lot of time for creating content and I need a minimal setup. And at the same time, being a solopreneur, most of the time I edit my videos by myself and this is why I need a minimal setup. And also because I travel a lot, I cannot carry big setup and all these gears. So in this video, let me show you what are the tools and gears that I personally use and how you can easily duplicate this whole setup. Because personally, I believe having a minimal setup is important, especially when you have a digital lifestyle. So let's get in. So there are three things that you need. Number one, you need a system for recording. Second is you need a system for editing and third one is you need a system for reusing the content that is for syndication and that part is important because a lot of creators and also a lot of entrepreneurs and coaches what they do is they create video for YouTube and they do not repurpose it for other channels. It is going to take a lot of time to create one piece of content. A smart idea might be to turn this video into a blog post also for Twitter thread and maybe a LinkedIn post and by doing it you are saving a lot of time and you are reaching more people depending on the bandwidth that you have and resources you have you can use this simple framework and I highly leverage the power of AI for doing it for example the software that I use for editing that's called Descript I have put the link in the description it is like editing your videos as Google Docs or Microsoft Docs. It's as simple as that. So let me show you this step by step. So number one is for recording. So what I do is I have my iPhone with me and I use this iPhone as a camera. So right now this is where my uh, MacBook is. So let me show you this. So this is where my MacBook is and it's recording my videos. So I use this software called Camo and it syncs my mobile camera with my MacBook. So I'm recording it in real time from my phone. And there is also Apple's continuity camera that you can use it. But I personally like camo setup and the quality is much better. So I use this. And once the video is done, I go to my screen and uh, let me show you this. So, okay, I use ChatGPT, but I'll come back to that later. So I go to Descript. This is how it looks like. Once my video is ready, what I do is I simply go to Descript and I transcribe my video. So Descript automatically transcribes my entire video. And if I want to change something, for example, if it cannot catch my accent, what I can simply do is I can click on C and I can correct it to something else, whatever I want to say. And most of the time it is pretty accurate but sometimes you might want to make some small changes and you can do that and if you want to remove any short gaps or if you want to remove any filter words that you can do it just with one click and you can also have these different layers it's very intuitive for example if i delete this text it just deletes it from the video so it's like you are editing a word doc but for video so it's pretty cool and also I can have this setup for uh, audio and then I have some options like captions. So if you would have seen those interesting captions that people use on uh, YouTube, that might be the chance that they use Descript for it. So for example, if I want to add this style, understand how to become a digital nomad, right? So this is how it is done. And once this setup is done, this is where the magic begins because now I can simply export this video just like this and at the same time I can take this transcribe and I'm gonna copy all of it and I'll go to my browser I'll go to chat GPT and I'll tell pretend you are content expert let's create different types of content for different platforms based on the content that I am going to give you so this is the base content I'm gonna give it and in next few prompts I'm gonna ask for quality content for different channels. So I'm gonna give this call, I'm gonna paste it and here we go. Okay, so now you can see it's it has already started creating blog post, but let's stop it right there. 
So you can see it is understanding a little bit, but we need to give it more clarity because what chat GPT does is it gives a very basic version of the uh, blog post, but our idea is to make it the really good piece of content. And for doing it, we will start by adding a little bit of information about SEO. So for example, I want to start with creating a blog outline. And at the same time, I also want to use some SEO optimized keywords. So for doing it, I'll simply ask chat GPT, okay, give me some semantic keywords that can help me optimize this blog post for ranking this on Google. So this is one of the things that is going to happen. Let me show you this. So can you see how powerful this is? Because now it has just distributed this whole content in different segments. And I can also ask it to create H2 tags and meta descriptions and all that stuff. And once this is done, then I can tell it to create a detailed blog post based on the content that I have given it. So this is how the blog post is ready, but I can also use it to create Twitter thread. And then I can also use it for creating LinkedIn post. And after a few iterations, you will have five to six pieces of content with five or 10 minutes of work. So this is really, really powerful stuff. So there are three things. Number one is recording. Second is editing. And third is content syndication. And one last thing is remaining. That is how do I'm going to distribute this content? So it really depends on the channels that you are personally using right now. If my channel is through Twitter, there is a tool that I love that is called Tweet Hunter. And what it does is it gives you all these tweets that are already viral on the platform. And based on that, you can create your content strategy. And if you are on YouTube, I use this tool called TubeBuddy and I'll let me show you this. This is very, very powerful. So what TubeBuddy does is it gives me the idea of different keywords that I can record a video about. And I am going to use more of it right now. I am really not optimizingly using it, but definitely I can do a lot better in this. So what it does is it gives me the keyword ideas and based on these keyword ideas, I can plan that this is the kind of video that I'm going to create. And if you stay till the end, I'm also going to give you this tool that automatically converts your long form videos into short form videos, which is just mind blowing. So let me show you this. So I go to keyword explorer and what I can do is I can start writing become digital nomad and let's see. Okay. And I can see this is fair keyword rating. I can see there is search volume search result is 1.1 million and monthly searches are 5.4. Now understand that these are not the accurate terms, but this will give you a basic idea of whether you should go for this keyword or not. I have seen false flags because sometimes these keyword estimations are not accurate, but most of the time they work pretty well. So you can rely upon it to some degree and you can also check how many people are such as this on Google and also video topics and YouTube itself. So based on this keyword analysis, I can make a choice that if I want to create this video or not. So the last tool that I want to talk about is called Opus Clip. What this tool does is it takes long form video and it analyzes that which part of that clip has the most potential to go viral or hook the people who are watching the video. And based on the analysis that is done with the help of AI, it gives you the option to export that particular clip and you can export it and publish it on Instagram or on YouTube or TikTok. So just like that, with the help of one piece of content, you can repurpose it for five to six platforms and syndicate it and grow your reach faster. So I hope you learned something from this video. Let me know if you have any doubts regarding anything. I have shared all the resources links in the description. Make sure to check that out and I'll see you in the next video.